Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and there's been some drama going on on YouTube lately. I know, tell me what else is new. Next you're going to be telling me that trees have leaves. Now, it's not in my normal personality to focus on YouTube drama cuz really there's nothing that you get out of it, that you get out of it aside from an aneurysm. But I'm paying attention to this because it is really and because I want to talk about something kind of serious, I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a slightly simpler build. Hopefully no one minds that too much. But you know, we are also in this in this idea of okay, how simple do we want the build to be? I don't want it to be too simple. I still want to kind of experiment with an idea. But what idea do I experiment with? Do I even want to do the rule robe? So here's the thing. I've been kind of playing around with the idea of different jump arcana, and one that I haven't really done anything with is a new seismic entry. So two earth, a lightning, and a fire. How's that? All right, cool. But one of them that I haven't done anything with is Soaring Ivy. And as for why, I don't really know. It's just one of those things that I never really put never really put a lot of effort into because I never I never Like I never really even saw Soaring Ivy as a jump. Even though if you look at its typings down below, it absolutely is. It's movement, it's jump, it's melee. Like it is absolutely what you're what you're looking for, but have I ever tried using it? No, not really. So we're going to take that and we're going to make an attempt at using it in a jump build, and I want to see how it works. All right, and of course, because we are doing a very heavily Earth-based build, we're going to be starting with Atlas. And actually, the rest of the run looks like it's going to be fun. So, yeah, good stuff. Now, the real question is, will Iris actually give, will Iris actually give me the upgrade I'm looking for? We all already know the answer to this question, of course. Like, if she gives it to me at all, she'll give it to me on floor, on, you know, floor 3-2. Okay, this room just flat, just flat out destroyed me. Holy crap. Okay, so this might not be the simplest build in the world. But that's okay, it's... <clears throat> the concept behind it is easy enough, and we'll hopefully find some things that are really good for control down the road. So, as for that drama that I mentioned, how many of you know who the, who the YouTuber Sniper Wolf is? Now, I know most of us know that name because of because of Metal Gear, as it should be. Ugh. I mean, it's free. Not really. 
big on this one, and this isn't the right build for it. Oh my god, she gave it to me right away. What world am I living in? Do I even still exist in this plane? What's happening here? Okay, well, um, shock aside, I think this will turn out to be a much easier run than I thought now. Would still like the upgrade for Soaring Ivy. But we'll get there. And yes, part of the reason why I wanted to do this particular adaptation of a jump build is because it does let me jump around like a psychotic jackrabbit. So, you know, the whole murder bunny thing in this case is absolutely appropriate. By the way, if you can't tell what I'm doing, I'm absolutely delaying talking about what I want to talk about. That's not because, you know, I don't want to talk about it. It's because I'm not the sort of person that likes to focus on YouTube drama. Like, it's just not my thing. It's not my thing. I don't really get anything out of focusing on that aside from a headache. Alright, we'll grab that. So as for why I'm focusing on any of it now... It's because it's the sort of thing that can have serious implications for Naha for Naha for the entire platform moving forward. And you, you guys probably already know what I'm going to talk about because I mentioned a name earlier. We are, of course, talking about Miss Sniper Wolf and some of her deluded decision-making. Terra Ring. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of Soaring Ivy, so... We'll just wait on that. Miss Sniper Wolf has been doing lately, and I may as well at least talk, at least for right now, just talk about, you know, her channel content, because her channel content is, well, we'll get to that. But what she does is that she is, at least she is now, just a React channel, like her her channel's entire content is based is based around just reacting to other people's TikToks at the, at the moment. And I put the word reacting in heavy air quotes because if you've seen one of her videos you know that React isn't so much what she's doing as, you know, blindly stumbling through... Oh, 
well. Again, we are getting fortunate. She's actually, like, helping. Hmm. Alright, I love it. Yeah, oftentimes her reactions are something along the lines of going, oh my god, that's crazy, no way. It's like just the most vapid, pointless interactions you can think of. Far from being anything transformative or anything... or anything truly interesting. And, you know, if you like her content, I mean, good for you. That means that you can see the value in something that I can't. But I just don't, I just fail to see what exactly it is she brings to the table. And I'm far from the only one, as lately she's been getting a lot of blowback. And a lot of that coming from a coming from another YouTuber named Jax Films, who is... Oh, that was not smart. Why did I jump in front of him? Now, let's be fair, they're both pretty big tubers in this suit. Obviously, in this space, being a big tuber in another space means that you fire grenade launchers, and that's not exactly what we're talking about. I meant to do that still, but I accidentally accidentally entered some input. Okay. Say good morning to the birds, by the way. They are definitely trying to get my attention. But yes, because her work is hardly transformative... She's been getting a lot of blowback lately from Jack's films, from other creators who are just tired of getting their work taken without being credited. Yeah, she's a big freebooter too. She. Like, if you thought it was just that she was annoying and just... and just adding the most vapid of content in the world, it's not just that. It's also that the people whose TikToks that she's reacting to don't see any sort of... It's a very heavily Earth-based one. But they really don't, re don't receive any sort of credit from her. Like, it's, it's basically just her saying, oh, you're a nobody, so I'm going to take your content and no one's going to care. It's like, you know, that not only is that super callous, but it proves that you're not actually, you're not actually being a good content creator. Not when, when, not when you have to resort to just taking people's content and going, This is my shit now! Hell, some of her content, she doesn't even, she doesn't even perform a reaction. She just kind of is there.
Uh, okay, give me that. I only have three elements, so Captain's Ring isn't going to be that helpful. With a general overview of what exactly it is Sniper Wolf does. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm constantly clearing my nose, when the weather gets colder, I tend to get a bit of a stuffy nose, so I apologize for that. I guess you could say part of it is just habitual. Part of it is I'm, you know, trying to breathe. So forgive me for that. I've I have been watching back some of my, some of my recordings and noticing that that sniffling sound is probably pretty annoying. So I'm going to offer an apology for that before I continue. Just understand that it's me trying to clear my nose so that I can, you know, breathe. I'm not trying to be annoying. It's just, you know, comes with the territory, unfortunately. You know, the territory of being me. But apologies for that. Moving on. So what exactly has has Miss Wolf done that's been landing that's been landing her in hot water recently? Well, oh hey, that's a fireball. And there's the boss room. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, we're going to grab this. Then we need to heal, like, really bad. What do you do again? Taking damage increases my maximum health. I don't know how I feel about that, but... I do get hit for a lot of damage, so I will take it. So, anyway, getting back to what I was actually saying here, for a little while, her and Jack's films have been have been having a little a little bit of a Twitter feud because he's been making a killing lately off of off of how just how predictable she can be to the point where he's actually got. He's actually playing bingo with his Twitch followers using her videos. Which you could say that that's... You know, not, exact, not exactly the most kosher of things to do. But at the same time, it's bringing up the point that she's... That she's not, that she's not exactly the most honest of creators, and he's doing so through through a means that's fun for his audience. Like that's just how iffy of a creator she really is. Okay, I see a few things here that I want. I want that. But we are going to put the bunny ears back on. I want this, and I want this. Ooh. 
Will you go away already? Try me. But because of that, and because of that little, like, spat that they've been having on Twitter, and the idea that he's been very critical of her lately, she is, of course, said, oh, I've decided, okay, I don't, I don't like this very much. But what does she do? Well, instead of, instead of just, you know, calling him or sending him a DM over Discord or anything like that, saying, hey, can we talk about this? Because I think this is getting out of hand. You know, instead of doing, you know, something that a reasonable person would do, <laughs> she decides that while she's on a photo shoot and she knows where he lives, she's just gonna show up to his house. And that would have already been bad enough, except for that's not where it ended. You see, she was recording that and decided that she wanted to decided that she wanted to put that in a live Instagram feed to her followers there. No, nothing absolutely unhinged or crazy about that. No. No, not at all. After all, it's not like the it's not like she's a person that's already been arrested for violent crimes before. Oh wait. Yes, she has been arrested for violent crimes before. So, you're asking me if I think someone like her could could do something out of the ordinary? Gee, I don't know, let me think. Okay, I like that. And of course it came it came with like thin with thinly veiled threats like, no, I just want to talk. And I believe one of her one of her messages said something something along the lines of how sad it is that people need to create drama to pay their bills. You know, absolutely hilarious, considering that she's the one starting all, uh, causing all the drama. No, I like what I have. I am gonna take- I'm actually gonna take it instead of Deferred Dynamo. Let's wait. So to say that Jack's films and his family has been have been feeling, you know, just a little threatened lately, it's a bit of an understatement. But I mean, who can really blame them when you have someone who someone who's been already been like not just it's not just, you know, guessed at or like colloquially theorized that she's a violent criminal. She's been arrested before. Like, she's got the mugshots and everything to prove it, so... 
This isn't just like anyone jumping to conclusions. We know that she's got the capacity to be dangerous. Okay, that's certainly not, certainly didn't work out in my favor there. Why is and why is this such a such a big deal outside of the idea that she's an unhinged violent psychopath? Well, because what she did is textbook textbook doxing and goes heavily against terms of service for you know for just about any social media platform. But tellingly, YouTube has guidelines that say that your your conduct off of the off of YouTube can can have repercussions for you on YouTube. So because she's proving that she's an unhinged psychopath, there's a lot of people calling for YouTube to bring the hammer down on her, and... If I'm being completely 100% honest, I think I agree with that. Like I, like I said, I don't like to interject myself into YouTube drama, but this is the sort of drama that has lasting repercussions for the entire website. And think about it, would you? How comfortable would you feel trying to? First of all, Sniper Wolf has like millions, like high millions of subscribers. Like there are people out there who now who really like her content. Why? I'm not entirely sure. Out. But it's not it's not for me to judge other people's tastes. That's not even what I'm doing right now. Right now what I'm doing is explaining why Sniper Wolf is both a pest and a threat. Um So there is something that I could sell. Whoops. That wasn't the direction that was supposed to go. Thanks, D-pad. Really, really making my world right now. But the point being is that because she makes the platform so much money, she's one of she's one of YouTube's golden children. And unfortunately, the that term is very apt as when someone ten when someone makes the platform a lot of money, they tend to have a bad habit of looking the other way when they do really awful things. You know, like, showing up at someone's house and doxing them for their millions of followers. So even though people are calling for her to 
receive the punishment that, let's be fair, is due here. There is a good chance that she will receive no punishment because she's one of YouTube's golden children. And that sets a terrible precedent for the rest of the website because, for one, it's telling other cre other creators that they can do whatever they want on the site and there will be no ramifications so long as you're a big enough channel. Which, I don't think human decency should have to come with a price tag like that, but... Even with all of that aside, it's also telling other creators that you can that you can cre create bottom of the barrel lazy bones content and YouTube thinks that's just fine. Now, say what you want about my content, because it's not like, it's not like gameplay channels are exactly the most, the word I'm looking for, unique things in the world. But gameplay creators are putting in effort. We are learning, we're learning a game, or multiple games. We are actually putting forth the time and effort to cultivate skill and some amount of showmanship like we are doing we are putting in the effort to become something the only reason why why many of our channels don't blow up like sniper wolves is because let's be fair there's some pretty stiff competition Let's stick with what we got. But she's literally not even producing her own content. And by the way, that was actually true when when she was doing, you know, the whole girl gamer thing, which to me which to me it was was cringy because it's not like it's not like the idea of there being, you know, female gamers out there has ever really been this this crazy unknown that needs to be explored. But she capitalized off of it. Like, even her handle name is just the name of a Metal Gear Solid character with, you know, two additional S's in the front, because that makes a lot of sense. And there we go. We have achieved victory, and I hope that we achieve victory against against Sniper Wolf, because someone super, super dangerous like her, someone who's clearly unhinged and cannot take criticism, 
she needs to have something happen to her. And it seems like the only way she's going to really understand any consequences is if someone steps in and fucks with her money. Now, I hate for that to be a thing, and I'm not for anyone losing their losing their livelihood, but girl, you've been grifting off the system, freebooting people's videos, and pretending like it's your own content. You've even gone so far as to edit out jokes that people make in their own TikToks and then repeat them, You trying to pass them off as your own. Like, you bring nothing of value to YouTube, and the rest of us are fully aware of it. And that in and of itself would be fine if you could take criticism or become a better person, but no, you decide you want to go full on with this, you know, ghetto bitch mindset of I'm just gonna show up to his house and see what and we'll see what happens like no we're not looking to start fights on the street we're looking to have a platform where people can come on and share their their creative selves without having to worry about someone showing up at their house and trying to start something this is not what this is about and you really need to understand that your consequences have actions. And if YouTube doesn't hand out those consequences, well, we're looking at some very dark times. I mean, think about, think about how this looks to a creator like myself, coming up from basically nothing. Like, I don't even have 600 subscribers as of the time of this recording. I'm really trying hard to put something out there that some community will enjoy. And I, if I can flat out see that all of my hard work and effort means nothing, and some grifter who steals other people's content without transforming it in any way can become as big and popular as she is without any kind of consequence to her delusional actions, I should say his or her, but in this case it's a her. What is that saying to people like me who are trying to put out quality content, who are trying to be good entertainers, who are trying to make a good name for themselves? It's not looking very good. It's really not. But anyway, that's all I've got. Um, if you guys stuck all the way through my rant, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys coming and spending some of your free time here with me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you may happen to be, and I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully a little bit more drama-free. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody.